we've got a cute little filming setup, y'all. We got a cute little reading note. Finally, I'm more of a podcast listener. <laughs> Yes. Welcome back. Hi, y'all. How are you? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well wherever you are, whenever it is you happen to be watching this video. I'm doing well, thanks. Um, doing pretty good. Yeah, so I shared in the last video, I moved. It's been about six months since I moved. And this is the first bit of furniture that I've purchased. I'm so excited to be sharing this because it's taken a second to get here. I have been holding off on getting furniture. I shared in the last video because I kind of want to move again, but I wanted to have a place to like film our chatting portions of the video. And just to have like a place that I could go to that was sy symbolic of like a happy place for me. And like this serves as visualization within my own space that like I could see the rest of it coming together eventually. You know what I'm saying? So I kind I have to be a little strategic with things. So I've started to do things room by room. I start off with the bathroom. So right now I have like my spring summer set up in there. And then right now I was like, okay, so I thought I was gonna shift into the dining area. I did do the kitchen a little bit, um, just with different appliances and storage options and stuff like what you see on the counters and stuff like that but that didn't last too long because i was like ah, i want to move i want to move again yes i do so i was like let me hold off on getting a dining table let me hold off on getting a new desk you know what i'm saying like let me hold off on getting a sofa so you can't see all of it but here let me is look basically the little percentage you get in Everything else around it looks like a hot mess. So I will show you as much as I can see. So like, it's like a big oversized cozy chair. I have a cute little table. I got some decor books. They won't stay like this cause I don't like it's cream on cream, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a little, a lot of, it's a little much with the cream going on right now. But for the vision I have, I feel like it makes sense to have a little corner with some cream in it. Okay. Welcome to my A Conscious Home series. I know we got a conscious a lot of stuff, but it just, it vibes, it flows. So this is going to be my little series where I show you as I build out my space, um, how the spaces turn out, what inspiration I had. And I will say a lot of my inspiration right now is coming from Instagram, Pinterest, and I don't know if you guys know of a creator. Um, her name is Emma Hill. So, oh my God, like she has renovated her home and it is gorgeous. Like it is everything I could dream of. Like another um, source of inspiration, inspiration for me is IRO House. Like I love that whole vibe and aesthetic. I would have, I would have the walls in my home if I could, like that really nice matte finish. Like, oh my God, like they, oh, Ugh, I would live there. It would be a dream. So yeah, the, those are my inspirations. Oh, another source of inspiration. Her name is Jemery. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, here on YouTube, she is um, like a fashion. She kind of leans into the home decor stuff. Um, she also bought a home and she's renovating it. And I think she's doing a fab job. But yeah, like, so those are like my inspirations. And then I also follow Christine Platt, um, the Afro minimalist. And I really love her perspective on minimalism and natural minimalism and how um, minimalism normally does not incorporate like Afro centric pieces into it or like colors and things. So I really subscribe to her um perspective and viewpoint on minimalism. And that's something that I will be doing 
Um, even like with the paintings and things that I know, like the artwork that I want to have and incorporate in the different pieces, I do want more like woven pieces, things that can speak to um, just like the artistry, the craftsmanship, the handmade things. Like I love stuff like that. So I follow her as well. So if you haven't heard of her yet, like she's been around for a long time. One of one of OG bloggers, chow. The book she got, the Afro Minimalist Guide to Living with Less. Like please check it out. Support us this the, you know what I'm saying? My design style, I definitely classify as someone who's into natural minimalism and I like color. I don't, I used to be into the minimalism that was like all white stuff and then all gray stuff and then industrial. So I, my style is kind of a little bit industrial mixed with natural minimalism at this point right now. But I really lean into incorporating more browns, more natural elements, natural tones. I like more textured things. Y'all know on the, the Conscious Pause channel when we were doing reviews, I would say things like that, like especially the fashion reviews. Like I'd be like, I love texture. Like that's the word, texture. Like I love velvets and chunky knits. Like I love things where it's just, it's a sensory release or in a way like visually it's so appealing. Uh, I love things like that. I also like for me pieces that I have to be multifunctional, to be extremely durable. So stain resistant, scratch resistant, chow, like I'm into all that. I'm into hidden storage. I love things like that. Uh, I used to be somebody who wanted to be in a tiny home, but I'm more of, I'd rather live in a condo now. Kind of, kind of vibe. And then some of my favorite designers, if you want like to get my vibe, I guess. So Leanne Ford is one of my top favorite designers, Jake Arnold, Nate Burkus. So I'm kind of like a blend of those three. If you catch my drift, you know what I'm saying? If I could, I would have Leanne Ford like design my whole home. Like, I don't know if you guys watch Rock the Block. She did, they had like a conversation where they had like just a bare home and they had to remake it like basically they just designed the whole house i would get that house that she made <laughs> it's got a lot of white in it so i would add some color but like just the different finishes she had like i liked it i know some people that may not be their style but like she really stripped the home down and like i don't know i loved everything she picked it was so intentional it was gorgeous it was basically like minimalism luxury like eco lux so that's also where i lean oh so some of my favorite places so the citizenry is one pompas is another uh that i look for pieces we are pompa on instagram so if you want to check them out um, i love their stuff too like they have very interesting rugs i was thinking about getting one of their rugs for my living room but i really am gonna try and like be more neutral with the rugs but i like jutes you know like i i'm telling you guys like ooh, all the natural stuff like i'm really into that i really really am more of like that organic kind of look. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. So yeah, they have really cute cushions. I might get one of their cushions for this chair. Their prints are so gorgeous to me. Like I love the cacti and the horses. Like they're so gorgeous. I feel like I will mix and match some of the prints. Anything with like animals, I'm a sucker for. They have really great pieces and prints. So if you want to check that out. Who's another one? Some like independent folks. So Alon, I, I hope I'm saying her name right. Alon Bird. I love her artwork. I love people who are into textiles. Like y'all know I'm a fashion person. That's what I went to school for. So fashion and, and interior design, I feel like go very hand in hand. I almost went to school for interior design as well. <laughs> So um, it's like, it's just a, it's a place in my heart. But like, yeah, so those are some of my fave people. If I had to like give you a good round out of what my design style is in the different pieces I would like to incorporate in my space. So, you know, you know, it's kind of got like a worldly vibe to it is what I'm going for. Now, I don't like having things that are too off the beaten path. Like, you know, just random trinkets and stuff. That's not really my thing. I don't really go for that. But I definitely like things that look like, you know, they come from an Afrocentric viewpoint and that, that little touch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that, I like that little touch to things. So 
uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. And I'm even considering like doing some artwork myself. I've already made a piece of pottery that I know I want to, or it's a ceramic, like I didn't make it, chow. <laughs> I painted it. But yeah, I know where I want it to be. It's basically going to be my key holder. Like when you come in, it'll be on the entry table, that kind of thing. I do want to make some things as well, just because I... I think it'll be really therapeutic and like it'll go along with the painting stuff that I've been getting into. So a couple of places that have caught my eye, one would be, I think it's Quince is how you say it or Quince. They, I feel like I would be down to get linens and things from them. I'm really open to them right now. I like that they're, you know, also branching out to include fashion. I know a lot of people like Parachute Home. I have my reservations about them because I've tried going into their physical locations before and I just not I've I've not received like the best customer service it was actually kind of rude and they were more snooty like what are you doing here like what are you walking in here for like no one wanted to help me they were kind of like turning their noses up at me um, acting like like I, I didn't belong there so I'm not really into parachute home I kind of have a hard time with them, although I like their pieces, um, some of their pieces that they have. The citizenry can be a little expensive, but I do like their vibe. I'm not gonna lie. I would I would take the citizenry over parachute right now, just because of my experience with parachute. I'm like, Ugh. they were me wrong, but I do like their loungewear stuff, like their slippers, like you know, more of the homey things. I'm like. Maybe I'll do that, but as far as getting their furniture, I can't imagine myself right now or in the near future at all, like really spending that much money on their products just because I know oof, that was not a good experience. <laughs> it like sticks out in my mind. I was like, whoa, I remember being like, oh my God, like they are so rude. Like, <laughs> like was there a reason for that? <laughs> Another one is, I believe they're called Avocado Home. Oh, Avocado Green Mattress. Um, they're another place that I was looking at. I do like some of their bed frames. I think they're cute. I can't decide right now as far as like bed frame if I want to go more the wood route or if I want to go more of like something that's curved, that has some texture, like either a boucle or a velvet or something like that, or even a suede. I'm into that vibe like an eco lux vibe okay but they do have some good like side tables bedding so i'm into them as well as far as you know more of a conscious consumerism perspective so yeah i mean those are like the top ones for me we'll see what i land on i i really am gonna try and stay away from from wayfair as much as i can but you know, sometimes the Wayfair price points are a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> I'm like, ciao, I didn't realize how expensive it was to get furniture. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my Lord. But yeah, so we shall see, but I can't wait to get like some pillows. You know, I think I only do like one pillow here and I can swap them out um, as the se seasons change and stuff. No, I'm gonna incorporate a lot of linens and maybe Sherpa. I know knits are gonna be a thing canvas like i really am into the textiles and like the texture okay i'm into that i really am into that oh you know what i could share my um i could share my vision board with you guys for my place because i actually have it set as my backdrop so this right here is literally like this is my mood board for my place the third no the fourth picture at the top to your right um, that's like the reading nook inspiration I had. I want to still get a faux olive tree. So we'll see about that to like finish off this little nook area. A lot of stuff on here is West Elm, but child, West Elm will take your whole paycheck. They is the whole foods of furniture. Okay. So you got to be careful with them. <laughs> um, which is why I had to improvise a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be able to afford everything from West Elm and other like, sustainable refurbishing type places but you know you could you could do what you got to do so that's my background for like what I'm into design wise so yeah so let's get into the inspiration behind this little nook 
So let me go through my inspiration for this little reading nook. And it's not a lot. So if you're on a budget, that is helpful usually, you know. So this right here, child, has been my inspiration. I don't know if y'all, like, I've been really liking Instagram for inspiration decor and stuff because like the algorithm is pushing to me the natural minimalism style that I like and that I go for I feel like it pushes it more to me than Pinterest so that's why I'm like I'm just curating my my feed basically so I have been seeing these freaking chairs and I, I don't know what they're called I can't remember I can't I don't I can't for the life of me you know if you look around you can find some pretty good dupes for them but I knew I wanted a vibe like this somewhat. This is more so going to be like my living room vibe. You know, I'm going to have like some neutrals, but as far as the chairs go, I don't want them to be cream. But I, I was like, okay, so this is like kind of what I'm working off of. And then, you know, the oversized cozy stuff, like feeling like you in a little coffee house or something, that stuff speaks to me. So like this big chair, I'm like, how big of a chair can I get? Like, I want it to be something that I'm like, I feel small in and like, it's just hugging me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's like, you know. This was another inspiration for me. Just these big oversized cozy chairs. This is another one. I was thinking like, maybe I would go with a beanbag chair, maybe. But then something hit me, child. Like this right here is basically what I got. Um, now this is just a random picture off of Pinterest. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. So yeah, so this one here I got off of Target. I learned about the brand from Target. Target's been coming through clutch for me. I'm not gonna lie, child. Target has been coming through, honey. Literally, this whole thing is basically like Target. I'm doing the best I can. Y'all know I'm into the ethical shopping and all that kind of stuff, conscious consumerism and things like that. I am doing my best as far as a consumer goes, like really trying to support small brands, independent artists, and anywhere I can, and also being conscious of my pocketbook as well. Basically, I'll just share like where I got this stuff. So this chair is the boring chair from Pop Madison. Is it Pop Madison or Pop Mason? It is a boring chair. It comes with, it, you can get the bundle that has an ottoman. I did not get the ottoman. I just got the big chair because like that's really what I care about right now. <laughs> but maybe in the future, I'll get the ottoman. You know, it's one of those things where you just got to weigh it out and be like, okay, it'll probably be in stock later. Like, it's okay. It's fine if I don't get the ottoman. So yeah, it's just like big oversized. It was pretty heavy when they shipped it. I will be aware of that if that's something, you know, you have some concerns about. I can't remember what they said. I think it was like the weight they said was, I want to say 40 pounds, but I can't remember if it was 40 pounds or not. It might've been less when you look online. So it, how they shipped it, it was like a vacuum. <laughs> so they had it like vacuum sucked and like plastic. As soon as you popped it open, the air, the chair just inflated on its own. It was nice. It was super amazing. Very easy. Very easy. <laughs> and then let me tell you about the chair. Sorry about that. So the chair I actually got on sale and I got it as a pre-order. I kind of find it funny too. They call it the boring chair. I don't know why they call it the boring chair. I'm like, girl, she cute. She's not boring. She comfy. And it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It's a giant oversized chair and it feels like a bean bag, but it still has support. It has Teddy fabric. So I do look, okay. I have a love hate relationship with boucle. Anybody else, anybody else for me, I don't like things that feel like they can just collect dirt very quickly or germs very quickly. I prefer everything to be like invincible. I like invincible things. Like I like things to be durable and to last a very long time. So I was really nervous to get this so far. She's doing good, you know? But yes, yeah, so this is the boring upholstered single sofa teddy fabric bean bag chair. It's a mouthful. I got it on sale. So it's $2.99 originally, so $300. Bucks, and it was on sale for $189. I got it in the color beige. It also comes in the color khaki. And khaki, I was kind of going back and forth with it. But because I know like from my mood board, I want to have those brown chairs. I was like probably better I just get the cream and khaki I didn't want it to be too off from the other chairs that I had in mind so yeah and I didn't want too much brown going on so I thought this was a good way to kind of break it up so I did get the color beige so yeah I had to get it on pre-order and then I got 10% off 
for signing up to their for their newsletter. So basically what I did was it was out of stock. This chair was out of stock on Target. And so I said, why not? I love going directly to the vendors themselves. Like I love doing that kind of stuff. I do not shop with Amazon. I stay away from Amazon. I try to stay off of Wayfair as much as I can. I try to stay away from Ikea as much as I can. That's why I really like to go to World Market. I also like West Elm, their line, you know, like, and then finding independent like independent furniture makers and stuff. If I can swing it, you know what I'm saying? I prefer that. Um, just to try and do as much as I can on my part. And it's Pop Mason. I'm so sorry if I said Madison. It's Pop Mason, yeah. So yeah, and they have different deals, I guess. So like you could get after you spend so much, you get so much off. So I thought that was nice. And yeah, so I got it on sale and then got an additional 10% off. I think my total came out to like 150 something, which was really cool. And I believe it was free shipping. So, I mean, I just got deals on deals, child. Like, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I'm like, I can't wait for Jupiter to go with cancer, child. Ooh, child. Like, that is probably when my whole vision is going to come together. Because, like, cancer is, like, home energy. Um, but, yeah. So, I was really surprised by just the size of it. I was kind of scared it would be too big. But it's not too big at all. It's actually, it's actually perfect. It's perfect. And it's so cute. I am a little concerned with how it'll match with some of the other beige things that I know I'll get. Like the sofa, I want my sofa to be beige. So if you can see here, the West Elm sofa, like right in the middle, is like a curved so sofa. That is like a neutral beige tone. And that's the only other beige thing I want in my place, child, outside of like my bed. Yeah, so I'm a little concerned that it may not match, that it may clash a little bit. Like this may be a more yellow or the the sofa may be more yellow. I'm not sure yet, but we'll get there when we get there. And then this lamp, okay, look, look at her. Isn't she so beautiful? I believe this is Threshold, but I thought it was a certain artist that was related to this lamp. I, th I could have swore, but let me look it up. Actually, let me look it up right now because it's going to bug me. You know, we got to shout out the artists and stuff. And I was shocked because literally I had a specific vision that I wanted for this lamp. Like this is the lamp I wanted. Like I wanted something with a brown base. I didn't care if it was wood. I didn't care really like if it was ceramic or not. I just knew I wanted a brown base. I wanted it to be a circle and I wanted a pleated lampshade. Um, so when I was going through Target, I was like, I feel like Target would have to have something. I was looking everywhere. I was looking for, what is it? Is it Pier 1? That was, uh, that was someplace a long time ago. Home goods. Like I was checking them all, child. And I was like, I'm just not finding the one. World Market. Now, World Market is one of my favorite places to shop for furniture. Are you the same way? Let me know. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's by, this lamp is by Studio McGee. So I knew it was associated with somebody. I was like, I know it's got to be with somebody, chow. So Studio McGee, so founded alongside her husband, Sid. The studio is known for Shay's design of beauty, beautifully elevated pieces that encourage clients to surround themselves with the things and people they love. She's partnering with Threshold to offer Studio McGee's classic design and new collection for inspired homes everywhere. So that's a little blurb on her. So that's really what I wanted. Like, and the best part about this lamp is that it has a dimmer. So when you're turning it on, you can slide the dimmer. And I thought that was so genius. So you can get more of a moody vibe. You can get kind of like a brighter vibe. I love that about this lamp right here. I'm not gonna lie. And it was a little interesting to put together. Like I was a little confused, but it's okay. They don't give you a lot to have to worry about. Like there's no like big packets. It's basically just like just kind of, a, you know, just a little one-two guide or whatever on how to put it together. And it's very simple. I don't know. How are you guys the same way? Like when I get really nice, I say nice, like nice things like this, I keep the box like for when I'm moving because I'm like the way they package it, I'm like, I ain't taking no chances of this getting jacked up in the move. So I'll keep the box if it's something like this where like they have it more, it's like carved out for the shape, if you know what I mean. 
So just keep it safe, you know, it doesn't move around too much. Now, the books I got, I got Minimalista and The Art of Home. So these both were at Target as well. So I kind of picture The Art of Home being on my coffee table and the Minimalista, um, I say Minimalista, Minimalista will stay here. And every now and then I may swap out the book. I may swap out the lamp and I'll put more of like a ceramic trinket on it, you know, just kind of. I like to switch it up, especially with seasons and things like that. So the lamp is here right now and I'm really digging her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She cute. The, oh, and the lamp, by the way, this was $65. So I thought it was a pretty good price for such a modern design. The minimalist book that is just under $20. So 17 bucks. And then the Art of Home by Shay McGee, that is 25. So 2507, chill. So 25 and some change. And they're gorgeous, stunning books. So I'm excited for that. Like, you know, I like to be able to switch things around. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But that's my vision. And then the stool is her Hearth and Hand by Magnolia, which I believe is Chip and Joanna Gaines, their whole thing. I'm really trying to show y'all without showing y'all my mess because there's there's mess everywhere channel is mess <laughs> i need so much storage but i'm like i really have to be strategic with how i do this this stool i actually had in the bathroom like next to the shower i thought it was kind of cute to have like a little table you know you can like put your towel on and your speaker or whatever while you listen to music in the shower you know what i'm saying like that's originally what i had it for but when i started to think about my reading nook i was like actually it kind of works better here. <laughs> and once I got my laundry basket, I was like, oh yes, girl, like we'll make the laundry basket multi-purpose, honey. And the stool can go <laughs> in the reading nook area. So it's open, it's got four legs. Um, it comes in a giant box. So thankfully they delivered that right to my door. So that was nice, but let me get the price for you. I was going to return it and I'm so glad I didn't because it actually worked out. Like I thought to myself, I was like, oh, once I get the laundry basket, I kind of don't really need this, but it really, it really did work out. So it's 70 bucks. So it's the shaker accent table or stool in natural by hearth and hand with Magnolia. So yeah, it's a, it's a decent height. I would say like, it's like perfect side table height to me. It worked when it was next to my shower too. So if that's something that you want to use it for, go get, go at it. Uh, I love woods that are this color, like even lighter, like honey or oak. Like I love woods like that. So she, she's perfect. She perfect. She perfect. So that's that on that. That's like my little reveal. I really enjoy the vibe. It's so cute. I feel like now I have a place to record videos and have a backdrop and not use a virtual backdrop. And I find it so funny because like the virtual backdrops that I've used, they always have like a cozy chair in the back. And it's like, now it's like real, it's reality. And so now I get to look at this and be like, it'll happen, it'll come together. It's gonna, like, it'll come here sooner than you expect. I can just sit here. I do plan to, like, write out stories for the blog and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I just have, like, a cute little place to go now, and I'm really happy about it. So, basically, this is what I have, you know? Like, this is the dream. And I hope you can see it all come together. I think on this side, I'll have the faux olive tree. Um, it'll be super uber cute or whatever. I'm really satisfied satisfied with how it turned out. So, you know, that's that on that. I feel like I still was able to get it on a budget and it still looks homey. It looks cozy. I didn't break the bank too much and I'm happy with that. And I really like the way that I'm going about decorating right now. And even now, I think I'm going to shift my gears and go more towards storage and organization because that's really what I need. Now that I have this, I feel like I can breathe a little bit, you know? It's not so much of like a rush or like that itch, you know, to get something bigger. I have something that can hold me off in the meantime. But yeah, I really do need storage stuff. I was thinking for like some of our fashion videos, maybe I can get a cute little clothing rack or something and pull it up on the side here or even put it near my front area. I don't know if y'all can tell. So I have like an entry table off in the top right corner there. 
So that's something that I was interested in getting at some point. I might put that in the front, but then I was like, oh, maybe a clothing rack would be better. I don't know. With like a a bar at the bottom for shoes, you know, maybe, maybe. I just like things that are very functional and can be multi-purpose. So yeah, I think I'm going towards like the storage container type thing. And I'm, I get so anal about that stuff and I love it. Like I'm so here for it. Are you one of those people? Like, I love that stuff. I already have the containers I want picked out in my mind. And yeah, so I'm just pacing myself. I don't want to overdo things and take my time with it and be very intentional that every piece I'm getting is something that I will be happy with in the long term. And that can last me. Like I need my money to stretch. Like I need things to I want to get the value and the worth out of them. You know, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. It'll come together totally, but I don't know how often I will come back. I'm doing things in sections um, is how I'm doing them basically. So uh, the next video will be the bathroom. I'm really happy with how that turned out too. So yeah, um, those these two videos might be the only ones you see for a while, like the bathroom and the reading nook. So I hope you like it. And maybe I'll show, I'll share like the storage organization stuff. So yeah, I hope that this video has helped you in some way. Maybe you got some ideas for how you would like to decorate your space. Share them below. Like what's your design style? What kind of decor do you like? I'm fully in the natural minimalism lane. I'm excited that that's more of the trend now. So it won't be as hard to find pieces. So that's exciting. I don't know. I still look, I, the jury is still out for me on boucle. Okay. It's still out for me. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't do it. I can't do it, but I did it. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. So thank you so much for being here. Y'all know what it is until the next one. Take care of yourselves, others, and the planet. Bye. Oh, shit, I didn't add the music. <laughs> I'm such a fucking mess. <laughs> Well, it was home for the holidays. It was home for the holidays. If you need the song name by by Track Tribe, okay. <laughs> ooh, wrong way. I've been ooh, chat. Where's I've been pushing. I've been um, what is it? Stain resistant. Stain like like just what is it? What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, Child, what did our? Oh, f me! I had my. Ooh. Okay. So yeah. So basically, this is what I have. Ooh, child, not me. Okay. But I'm like, child. Look, does anybody else? Does it drive you insane when you have tech stuff? Just like, I have them as organized as much as I can, but I'm like, this is I. I'm ha like, it gives me migraines. Like I'm like, I can't deal. Like I need a dedicated box for this. <laughs> I need dedicated compartments. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I, that's enough. That's enough on that.